Good day everybody. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use checkboxes and radio buttons in HTML5 and uh, also how to deal with them with JavaScript. Uh, how to make business decisions, how to, you know, take uh, read their values, make sure some of them are at least one of them are selected in case of radio or what values have been checked uh, in case of checkboxes. Uh, so basically this is what we're going to do, check boxes in radio button and HTML5 and dealing with them in JavaScript. So uh, first of all this is something I believe you're already aware, this form, it's a simple form. Uh, it's got one submit button, I'm just, I've just changed its type from submit type to button type to make sure I don't submit this to the, to the server because I don't want it to go to the server, I want it to go to the JavaScript. So the JavaScript can read the values. Uh, the user has uh, entered or the button the user has clicked radio button and check boxes which will just create and then take some decisions based on that so I'll just first of all change this to type button which I've already done and then on click I'll now introduce a JavaScript method I'll call it um, you know my business decisions uh, should be uh, taken should be done over here so I'll say um, do the work whatever you you feel like you can name this as long as it doesn't have um, any special character or spaces do the work I just name it just this JavaScript method um, okay now within the head section we all know that the script co tag goes in so I'll just write a CRIPT or you can take some Code suggestions from brackets uh, script obviously type is JavaScript and close it and within the script tag I'm gonna create a function the functions name is do the work which I just uh, indicated over the function do the work notice it has to be exactly same uh, uh, including the case sensitivity do the work the easiest thing would be you can just copy and paste it so that to make sure that there is no uh, discrepancy in the spelling uh, do the work what it should do is now I need to you know uh, create radio buttons and check boxes over here uh, so that whenever they are clicked I want to check which is clicked and make some business decision so I take the users inputs uh, and take that into consideration of my form submission or calculation whatever so first of all label should go in and within the label we all know the radio buttons and check boxes come in so I'll create input type uh, radio name is equal now this name is very important this groups the radio buttons together name is equal to and now I'm creating a radio button for, to allow the user to apply for a job so I'll say a full time part full time job and then there is a contractual job and then there is part time jobs the three kind of jobs the user will be allowed to apply for so I'll create three corresponding radio buttons so all of them should have the same name uh, input type radio name is equal to job and uh, yeah that's it and then just write over here full time or full time uh, yeah full time and then I'm just gonna you know copy and paste this two more times so my three radio buttons come in full time full time full time I'm just gonna change this to part time and this one is contract so I've got three radio buttons here, full time, part time, contract. Now, what is going to differentiate them is the ID. So let's. There are a couple of ways of doing this. One way is to do with the ID. So I'll say ID is equal to ft. Ft. Let's give all of them different IDs so that we can differentiate which one was selected because we will pick it up from the JavaScript based on ID. ID is pt, which is part time input. ID is a contract or call it CO and then I'm gonna just 
copy and paste this to create what we know as checkboxes okay some distance between these two two line breaks and these are not radio anymore these are checkbox notice the brackets software gives you good suggestions checkbox yeah now you see the name in, the, in case of the radio buttons the name groups them together full time part time contract so it makes sure that only one of these radio buttons are selected similarly in case of checkboxes also the name over here groups them together so but we uh, in this case we just change this to hobbies so let's say hobbies 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 okay hobby is to for example uh, uh, Swim, swimming, and then this is the games, and then this one is running. Let's save it. Okay, so now we have three ch check boxes and three radio buttons. So in case of check boxes, I can select all of these. In case of radio buttons, I can select any one of these as long as they belong to the same group. How do we know it's the same group? Because their name will be the same. So let's say for the demonstration purposes, if I change the name of one radio button to differently. So these two are from the same group and this is another group. So in this case, you'll see I can select two radio buttons, this full time and also part time together. Because now HTML recognizes full time as a separate group because it's got, it's got a different name and part time contract as a different group. So any one of these radio buttons I can select from part time and contract, but I can select full time separately also, which in case in this case is does not make any sense. It's wrong, so I'll just undo this. But I hope you understand that how do we group these together: full time, part time, and contract. Uh, yeah, so this is how I can create radio buttons. But I need to you know uh, do some business decisions based on which of these were uh, selected. So I've, I I know now the their ID. So I'll go and do the if which makes the decision if document dot my form make sure you have created this my form and I say the ID is uh, uh, ft dot checked now this checked tell me if that ready button or uh, the checkbox was selected dot checked and then do what window dot alert and you say um, you applied for part time job um, full time job you applied for full-time job let's just test this first of all if you submit is anything working no it's not so let's select full-time job only it should display a message if it's not displaying a message let's see do the uh, do the work is done over here you type button value submit do the work yeah okay this one is correct and then we need to select document dot my form is correct my form F T okay. I just hope that this is within the form. Yeah, you see the, there are two FTs over here, so make sure the checkboxes also have different values. So this is SW swimming, this is PG playing games, this is are you running? So we have the IDs in the whole form should be separate, they cannot be two same IDs. You can give ID to label, you can give ID to you know option, you can give ID to uh, input types, but all of them should be separate. So this is running, playing games, swimming, full-time, part-time contracts. So let's select part-time now and check. It should give us you applied for full-time job. How about if I select part-time? Nothing should happen. Contract, nothing should happen because I have not done the code for that yet. So only full-time, if I select, it will give me this message. Okay. So let's move forward. What if this was not selected? So I'll just copy and paste this, the if part. Else, I'll say else if PT is selected and say you applied for part time job. I'll do the same thing again. <coughs> Excuse me. You plan. This is a contract. Let's see, apply for 
contract job. So let's like this. Part time, correct. Full time contract. Yeah. So that's how basically I select my um, my radio buttons, and then in the JavaScript, I uh, I determine which one is checked or selected by the user. So I'm gonna, just going to copy and paste this over here to show you the same thing for radio buttons also. This one is a uh, playing game. What was it? Swimming, I believe. And then are you okay? So your hobby is to play games. Your hobby and, and see what happens over here hobby is to swim your I'm doing this uh, on purpose so that you can see there's a problem here you, why you can't do the same thing with the checkbox your hobby is uh, running so there won't be any error but there's some logical problem here you see my full-time part-time contract since any one of them can be selected so I have this full time or part time and it is working fine as expected as it should be. But there's a problem here. You see, if I select swimming, it does give me your hobby is to swim, which is fine. But I'm a, I if I can se select play games also because it, it's a checkbox check box and it allows me to select multiple options. See what happens now. Contract, job, and then hobby is to play games. What about swimming? What happened to swimming now? Contract job, play games. I thought I should select. I can select all of these three, so it should show me your hobby is to swim, your hobby is to play game, your hobby is to, is to run. Also, you see, for the radio button is fine, but the playing games is only you know my hobby according to what I've read. Now this if else is wrong in case of radio button, uh, in case of check boxes. What you have to do is you have to take out F because all of these ifs are three separate if they are not connected together. You see this else is connected to the if before it. If this was true, if this condition was true, it would come here and do this and that's all. It will not go here. This all code will be skipped. It will not be done. If only if the first condition was true. But if it was false, it would come here and check the second one. If this was true, then it would come here and you know do this, which is just displaying a message, and then it would skip the later part of the else if. This would all be skipped if the the second one was true. But let's say if the first one was not true and the second condition was also not true, only then it will come to the third condition and do this work. So they are all connected together. That's how. That's why else if works with the previous if but these ifs they're all separate from each other and now you see they will work they will individually they will check that the uh, playing games or the swimming or the running are selected and it will show me uh, the message separately altogether your hobby is to play games your hobby is to swim your hobby is to run okay i hope you understand this uh, check boxes and radio buttons and how we connect them to the javascript one more thing is very important uh, the image tag if you i this is something which i wanted to cover it was, it was something very small but uh, i just want to you know make sure that you guys um, know what this is about uh, the image tag i'm just creating a br so when i come to, to the next line i say a href and i would like to have some uh, image here and I will write here let's say uh, if not Google let's say Google okay and when I say Google it's have some more distance yeah when I click on Google it should go to www.google.com so now that's my you know simple anchor but if I need to have a set of Google I'm going to show here Google's image see so I what I do is image, sorry, image, and I say SRC is equal to 
the image uh, link and then alt google image this is the text which you write and uh, this since is a word element there is no need for a separate closing tag for image so you'll see google image now since it's not able to find or i have not given the complete source over here it will do this um, uh, it will obviously not show this uh, the google image it will show the alt text which i've written uh, so i'll just go ahead and write google and search for a google image um, google um, we just need a google's image so i'll just come here right click copy image address and let it type here save it yeah so by the way gif this is gif gif is also an image you can create an animation as a as a as an image yeah if now this becomes my anchor see this becomes my anchor as soon as i click on this it will take me to google dot it should take me to the google.com let's see where is this yeah okay so let's https for the links it goes through like this control s save yeah google.com make sure whenever you write in the any website name as the link http or https should be written with, along with colon and slash slash google.com so that's how my images work however let's say if i want to based on my check boxes i want to check the change the image over here based on my my this check box so what what's the way to do that let's just look at this uh, all right i'm not gonna just show this to you like this uh, it's because it's something very very small what you do is basically if the full-time job was selected let's create this bracket and the reason why I'm creating this bracket is because if this was true then there's not only one li line to execute there are two lines to execute or more than one line to execute if there's more than one line to execute you have to have this bracket the curly bracket if there's only one line like this you just need to just play a message and then finish there is no need to create these two curly brackets these two curly brackets are only required if that condition is true and within that condition you want to execute multiple statements together so i'll say okay if this was checked window dot alert you applied for full time job all right and now i want to change the image tag so what i do is the image tag i give it an id image id is equal to uh, img1 and I change it to document dot my form dot img one dot src. Change it to something else. So let's say I change it to uh, Google. So full time job. Okay. Let's select this one. I click copy image address it's a pretty big images we are getting these days okay save it right okay so submit applied for part-time job yes I did full-time submit so, submit yes I did apply full-time and then we'll check change the image to full-time so basically that's all you have that's all you give IDs to each and every uh, HTML element and based on that you can play with them in the JavaScript. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time.